Good day. Welcome to our Chalk Talk on recording versus reporting for troubleshooting. The purpose of this Chalk Talk is to explain how recordings can help you troubleshoot at least 10 times faster and more effectively than reports can. So what do I mean by reporting? I mean those beautiful X and Y axis graphs that you're familiar with. Time is on the bottom. There's some metric on your y-axis, like CPU usage, CPU usage, and you have your data points over time. You may have more advanced reports that have multiple metrics. In this case, it's typically the same metric, but you might have CPU from VM1 and your CPU from VM2. Now the nice thing about these reports is they visually show you what's going on, right? Well, what's hugely missing from these reports, or what's hugely important, is the granularity of these reports. These reports are typically polling driven, which means every 15 minutes they'll go out and say, how much CPU are you using? So if you poll your CPU every 15 minutes, that means you're getting four data points every hour. Now some systems allow you to do polls every five minutes. It creates a lot of extra overhead, but at five minute polling intervals, you'll get 12 data points per hour. Big improvement over four, but still not a lot. Well, why does this matter? Well, the problems don't hang out all day. Right? They can come and go in a very short period of time. So you want to see the problem so you can fix it, troubleshoot it. With Zangati, we take 60 data points, one data point every second, 60 data points every minute, 60 minutes in an hour, we're taking 3,600 data points every hour for every metric. That's a lot more than your typical reporting solution does. So how does this, this really work? You're, let me tell you about a customer we had. They had a problem where their entire infrastructure basically stopped. Stopped working. It didn't work. The applications didn't work. The network didn't work. It was hosed randomly throughout the day for a couple minutes. One minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes. Just randomly throughout the day. All of their reporting solutions showed green lights. Their reports showed nothing irregular. They were clueless as to what happened. They installed Zangati in our DVR recording basically immediately showed that there was a major problem with files being moved across the network because we are taking 3,600 data points per hour versus 4 or 12. So let's go take a look what a recording looks like. So here's a Zangati recording. Now Zangati shows more than one metric. What's unique is it actually shows dozens of metrics. So you can see the context of the problem. So if there's a problem with latency, we can tell you if it's read latency or write latency. If it's a problem with performance, we can show you which application it is, how many end users are using that application, where those end users are located. So you can actually see the context of the problem in true color. Zangati calls this VM to anything visibility and it's a unique patented offering at Zangati. Now, you can trigger recordings a number of ways. And what you're going to see right now is that you can, of course, fast forward and rewind these recordings so you can play them back in time to see what is going on. As we said in this previous Chalk Talk, you can see the problem, record it, and then share it with coworkers or anybody you want. You simply email the recording to them. Now, you can trigger these recordings multiple ways. One, you can do it with vCenter. You can set a threshold in vCenter. When that threshold is exceeded, Zangati will trigger a recording for that element and all of that element's interactions. Or you can schedule one for the middle of the night. We all know about those 3 a.m. problems that uh, wake us up in the middle of the morning. Schedule for 3 a.m. when you come show up for work the next day, you can see the recording and see what happened. Or you can, of course, just manually kick one off or let our profiling engine do all the work for you and tell you when it needs to make a recording. So thank you very much for your time. I hope I've showed you how recordings
can help you troubleshoot at least 10 times faster than a traditional report. But don't worry, your reports are not you know, terrible. Zingati also has all those traditional reports, and you can use those for planning. In fact, they're very good for planning. They're just not great for troubleshooting or optimizing. So what are some next steps? Join us to download Zangadi for ESX. Um, come to our website. You can download that for free. Or you can request an evaluation of our Zangadi management dashboard, which gives you visibility into multiple ESX hosts and all of their relationships. Thank you very much.